Today, I will be reviewing a bunch of one-star businesses that my fans told me about. I'll be testing a hotel, drive through restaurant, and much more. And let me know what business you think actually deserves the one-star rating. Oh my goodness, guys. What a crazy, crazy workout. And wait, oh no, the footage, it didn't, it didn't save, guys. No, I, I guess you can't see that I went to the gym today. The footage literally didn't save, guys. And, oh, um, I, I swear, I, I went to the gym, guys. Uh, Anyways, the reason I'm on Bloxburg today is for a little bit of a different reason. We are reviewing this one-star review, okay? There is this restaurant that I'm going to be checking out today. And what's crazy is Bloxburg recently updated where you can make a drive through legit now. So, guys, there are legit drive through abilities just like this Bloxburger. And I think I was told, yeah, let me actually check the chat. It says, Moe's Restaurant Opening, best ratings around, which is such a lie, by the way, guys. Literally, the ratings absolutely stink. Yep, guys, this looks like the screenshot from the tweet. This is for sure it, guys. This is Moe's. And it looks pretty cool. I'm not going to cap to y'all. Look at it. Take a look. We got, it says drive through. It says Moe's. It says Burger. Wait, what the? Oh, what the crap? Uh, did they make that logo? Okay. So we're not going to go through the drive through yet, but we're just going to go and review the restaurant first. So let's go in, guys. Let's first knock on the door and let's get, oh my gosh, that was eagerly quick bro is eager trying to let me in this restaurant guys okay we are officially in oh my gosh guys it says mo's menu whoa and he said hello hello i'm just gonna say right now hi nice to meet you guys we are officially in mo's restaurant i love the color scheme in here it's, it's really beautiful actually and he said welcome to my restaurant the best burger place in town oh my gosh guys i'm just gonna say sounds good i'm so hungry i'm not hungry guys i was literally just on my computer actually no, i was at the gym didn't catch me in a lie there, okay? And Mo said, then please take a seat. So guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and sit myself right down there. He said, wait right there. All right, yep, sounds sounds good. All right, guys, he's going back in the kitchen. Sounds good. This is a really cool restaurant. I like it. I, I, it's it's fancy, but I, I really should read the menu first before I sit down. It says, we got the Mo Menchus burger, and we got the cheesy Mo. We got the veggie moment. I'm, I'm not eating that. I'm not eating number three for real. And then we got number four, Mo's chicken delight. And oh! This guy just came right out and he said, hey, did you see in the kitchen? No, I was reading the menu. He said, please no snooping. Guys, already off the bat. This guy is so weird. And as you saw in the tweet, there was a photo of Mo standing like halfway between the kitchen door, which clearly shows that he's like just worried about people seeing in the kitchen. He said, it's against my restaurant policy. He's like, bro, you can literally see in the kitchen at McDonald's. Any, any fast food place you go into, you see the kitchen. And he said, it's against my restaurant policies. Okay, fine, bro. Okay, fine. I'm going to order though. Can I order he said sure thing okay guys so i'm gonna talk to mo right now i'm gonna say can i get a number one and then with wait what are the sides are now sides it says fries and drinks okay perfect okay cool okay i'm gonna need a number one with the side of fries and a drink easy enough guys all right we we locked in right now mo's getting my order down right now on that cool thing guys blocksburg is becoming so up big they're updating the game they're making it so cool they're adding cool items like look at guys i can pull this cat out right now what up oh wait what the? I can't. Okay, and he said, mmm, and okay, it'll be out in a jiffy. All right, guys, he's going back in the kitchen, and while he does that, and while he orders, he... He said, please no snooping. Bro, I already know. He is so sus, guys. Literally. Okay, I'm actually gonna try to look in the kitchen when he goes in. I'm gonna, like, put my put my perspective right... Oh, put my perspective right here. Okay, guys, I'm looking in right now. Oh! Okay, I don't wanna... See, I didn't see too much in there, but I know for a fact... Wait. Okay, he's making my food right now. So while he's making my food, guys, I am going to investigate around the area, okay? I'm going to look around real quick. I have plenty of time. Let's just look around and see. Okay, we got another door right here. And this is the drive through area. This is where the icing on the cake goes, bro, okay? So over here is the crazy drive through And I think that right there... That is where something happens, man. Okay, guys, I've snooped enough. I gotta be careful. All right, ladies and gents, my food is ready. Did you see anything in there? Oh my gosh, guys, he is stressing. I'm gonna tell him right now, no. Oh my gosh, I cannot type. I'm on a new keyboard right now. No, I did not. Even though I already know what is happening, okay? And he just said, here's your food. Perfect, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh my gosh, guys, you've been serving it on a platter. Look at that. Mm. Cannot wait to eat this burger. Looks so good, guys. After a hard gym session, you know, I deserve it, right? He said, please enjoy. And wait a minute, guys, you hear that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who the heck just pulled up real quick, guys? Yo, guys, uh, someone just came in with a sick car, honestly, bro. That thing is huge. And Andy just said, this place good. And Mo is saying, hello, hello. So he's introducing him. He's got a new customer, guys. And honestly, 
I'm not gonna lie. Mo has been pretty suspicious about the whole kitchen, but it seems like he didn't even want me to go through the drive-thru, guys. Honestly, like, it's not like that was that big of a deal for me. He's saying, welcome to my restaurant, and I'm just gonna keep eating. You know, this is the moment where I don't even say anything. You know where I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna say, I'm not even gonna say anything right now. I'm just gonna eat my food. And Andy just said, I'm hungry. I need some food. Yeah, bro, look at me munching over here, bro. I'm eating these fries, and Mo just said, wait. Is that your car? Wait, guys, he's literally going for the car right now. Oh my god, my car just got towed. No! Well, I ain't going through the drive-thru anytime soon. Guys, I'm gonna switch to eating out here just so I can watch this. Mo is literally going around the car like, like it's like a museum artifact. He said, it's so nice. And then Andy just said, I need some food though. Guys, Mo is like attached to this car, bro. He is obsessed. He said, wait, wait, and he ran in the building. Andy's literally trying to order at the front desk. And he just said, please follow me. All right, guys, I'm gonna pretend like I'm not seeing anything, okay? I'm literally gonna pretend like I'm not seeing anything right now. Guys, I think Mo is trying to convince him to use the drive-thru. He said, sir, I highly recommend using the drive-thru. No, don't do it. Guys, I don't know. I think Andy is trying to eat in. I don't think he's going to use it. But Mo just said, we just installed it and it is very luxurious. And Andy's saying, I don't want it. I'm already inside. Exactly. That's what I'm saying, guys. I would not just go in and order the food. I'm going to message Andy privately. I'm going to say, yo, bro, I'm here reviewing restaurants. The drive through is a scam don't do it guys i warned him we're all good we're saving the day and yes i will be going through it guys don't you worry and wait he just messaged me bruv thinks he's my dad what the no i never my no not your dad and then he just said i'm going through now because you said so oh come on are you serious bro no no please mo please okay guys i'm gonna have to pretend like i don't see anything right now man i really am gonna have to pretend like i don't see anything bro and mo just said please sir you won't regret it no don't uh oh uh oh he said thank you thank you and guys he is literally going to the drive through window in the kitchen and andy just messaged me again don't tell me what to do oh gosh guys andy just said i'll have a number two have a number nothing please get out of there dude oh my god andy no 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 oh my god this car's sinking in okay this is like pretty like anti climatic actually i wasn't expecting i thought it oh my god it's actually going in way more now no it fully sunk guys okay 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 i'm just gonna eat my fries i'm gonna get actually sit right back down okay just gonna drink my smoothie or my milkshake i don't know i'm never making that noise again i'm sorry okay mo just said did you see anything what what me A anything no no I, I i didn't see anything he said please be honest i've been eating dude i've literally just been eating dude and then mo just said thank you for being honest guys we need to think of a way to get in there okay mo's gonna go back in there right now maybe i could just snoop through and see if any actually guys hold on guys i'm looking through right now and i'm noticing i think there might be another yeah guys there's another door on the outside and that leads into the kitchen that is our way in guys and andy messaged me where was the warning you got me stuck bro for real dude i literally warned him okay guys we have a brand new mission we have to save this guy andy so if you didn't say anything i wouldn't have been here honestly at this point i don't even know if i should save him he's being very rude to me but you know what i'm going to because i'm poke and i have to do this okay it's my canon event so i am going to pull up and i am actually going to pull up in a brand new outfit and i'm going to try applying for a job here that is the way we get into the kitchen because if i go through that kitchen right now i'm gonna get kicked immediately so let's disguise and get a job all right everyone we are officially disguised i literally look like i'm about to work at like uh los polos hermanos right now but for real i don't know why i get i give that like gus vibe but we are going to walk in and we're going to apply for a job so let's go into mo's burg gear and i'm gonna have to ask him about this logo bro this is uh this is not i don't know anyways let's go in and i'm just gonna tell him right now i'm just gonna say hi and he said hello hello i was wondering if i could get a job i need money just gonna throw that right off the bat okay and also i'll gas him up a little bit i'm gonna say i've eaten here before and it's so much better than anything better than in and out burger honestly guys i love in and out burger it's like my favorite fast food place comment down below if you have a favorite fast food restaurant you know it's not the best but it's good and mo just said oh wow thank you i really appreciate that oh gosh guys this is off to a great start bro but no it's not better than in and out i'm sorry and he said but um do you own a vehicle though uh guys crap why does he want me to own a car so bad i, I i'm just gonna say uh i use uber <laughs> that's a total lie bro blogsburg uber bro it's so funny dude he said doesn't look like it huh uh i i can get a car i don't know why i guys no i do know why he wants me to go through this thing bro i swear dude this is like 
I, I, maybe I'm sounding paranoid right now. And he said, well, sorry, but you can't work here if you don't have a vehicle. Okay, okay, sorry. I'll go get one. And he said, it's a part of our restaurant policy. And he gave me the, bro, gave me the goofy. I can't do anything about it. Like, all right, we're gonna go home and we're gonna get a car then. All right, everyone, I got my car. Let's pull up right now, dude. And uh, I just realized right now, this is the same car that I pulled up in. I think we should be okay. And now I'm back. I'm just gonna let him know, got my car. Can I get my job now? Literally, it's the funniest thing ever. Imagine, it's like, you have a car, you're hired. And Mo just said, wait. He said, your car, he said, looks very similar to another car I saw before. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm just, I'm just saying Hondas are popular. Pfft, it's a Honda. Anyways, yeah, it's, it's, it's a very, what, that's, that's, what, what is that? What is that saying to me? Okay. It's very similar. Okay. So what? Most said, oh, I see. You know, guys, if you ever want to fight someone, you know, just, just start gaslighting them, I guess. He said, all right, since you have a car, I could start the interview. Oh, let's go. All right. Let's get the interview process rolling. Oh, we're going to sit down real quick. We've even got a little clipboard out and everything. Okay. Let's get to work. Guys, I just want to get into this kitchen so bad. I can literally look in the kitchen, and I'm trying to see where the other door is, guys. But, ugh, I just don't see anything in here, bro. Bloxburg is so secretive now with their secret stuff. And Mo just said, question one, where do you see yourself in the next five to six years from now? Uh, working at Mo's Burgers. Duh. Gonna devote my whole life to the burger chain. Are you kidding me? Of course, guys. They just said, hmm, interesting. Guys, that is a clear lie. I'm not gonna be working at Mo Burgers my whole life. Just long enough to save that one guy who literally, by the way, I was trying to save and they I, reverse psychology, I guess, worked because they just, they didn't even care. I told them not to go and they went in. So he said, question two, how well do you know about cooking and serving? And I'm just gonna be as honest as I can right now. I'm just gonna say, I'm the best chef around. Okay, guys, I'm totally lying out of my butt right now, but I don't even care. I'm the best chef around i can make anything i make literally anything and he said oh really and he said okay question three the final question okay another probably question about flipping burgers or how well are you good at, how, how good are you at the cash register can you can you do math like he said how well do you know how to break down vehicles into their spare parts what, what the uh, I feel like I have to lie about this. I'm just gonna say, oh, uh, ve very well, actually. Ve very well. Yes, I, I could do that. Why would he ask that? I said that's the most important question. Guys, I have a very bad feeling with those very nice cars that goes through the drive-thru. He's breaking them down. I said, please answer honestly. Guys, people need to go on Yelp more, man. If they saw that this was a one-star restaurant and that they trapped cars already, you would never come here. I'm just letting him know, yes, I can do that. I, I'm, I'm up for that. He said, you're hired. All right, guys, let's go. He said, congrats. We are officially hired. I'm just gonna say thank you. And oh my God, this keyboard stinks, guys. Oh my gosh. I said, I said, to you. And he said, here, let me give you your special role this is it guys this is the role blocksburg recently added custom permissions where now boom you now have custom permissions guys which means that literally i get to probably open up locked doors i get to place stuff down on these plots i just realized guys this guy's face is like so like bro i didn't realize his eyes looked like that he said now please follow me as i show you the kitchen all right guys we are officially in the kitchen i'm in we did it guys there is the door that i can now open because i have custom permissions so that's good to know okay Okay. And he said, now, never go in that corner. And he just pointed right at that corner, guys. And look at that. Look at that floor. Do you guys see? He's literally, he's literally blocking my POV. He said, got it. Dude, I literally can't even show it off, bro. Literally right there, guys. You see that little four corners? Ding, 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 ding. That is something. That is where I think Andy is. Oh my gosh, guys. And Mo just said, what is your answer? I'm just going to say, I will never go over there. And Andy messaged me, are you helping me or not? I just got a fake job to help you. Wait. Oh my gosh, guys. This guy needs to calm down, bro. And Mo said, good. He said, now over here is the fridge cash register for the drive-thru. Okay, guys. I don't know. I'm waiting for him to tell me how the drive-thru works. I'm going to actually ask him. I'm just going to say, how does the drive-thru work? Is it a standard? Guys, it's so crazy. He's telling me about the drive-thru, but it doesn't even work. Like, look at guys. The wall is right here. And I literally think I just saw. Yeah. Andy's name. Look, it's right there. That's crazy. Mo just said, 
it has a new mechanic but you're too new to know about that okay he won't tell me because i just got my job here but it looks like i don't even have a shirt on by the way when i turn around but i promise i do look at my tie well here's the plan we know what we have to do we have to save him we have to save andy down there and the only way is through this corner right here so we need to distract mo he said please get familiar yourself as you wait around for the next customer guys i officially am locked into my job he told me to wait for the next customer which the next customer is gonna fall right through again the quicksand bro that was the funniest thing ever and there you go he just waved at me and he closed the door guys he gives me full trust now and should i just go down there or should i simply try to plant a distraction first i think that's what i need to do so i am going to right now go to my backpack okay and now i'm going to place down a bunch of garbage bags i'm gonna go outside right now okay i'm gonna go over here i'm gonna place a garbage bag okay i'm gonna go over i'm gonna place another garbage bag i'm just gonna place another bunch of garbage bags outside in the area so now that i place all the props down right now i am going to let him know and this is where we go downstairs and he just said again or mate are you taking forever i gotta get to work cool your pants all right guys i'm gonna talk to mo right now i'm just gonna say uh boss i just found a bunch of crap outside like literally a bunch of crap and he said wait what yeah, guys, literally take a look. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open the door for him. I'm gonna say, look at it. It's gonna say, look. All right, guys, the moment of truth. That should be enough to distract Mo. Okay, he keeps his restaurant very clean. So I know he works like that. And there's the corner right there. I'm just gonna close the door. Doesn't matter locking it for guests. And here we go, guys. Oh, oh. oh my God. Oh my God. It's Andy. It's Andy. I'm gonna message him privately. Oh my God, you stink. No, that was rude. I feel bad. But guys, let's go in here right now. Let's investigate what's happening. Oh my gosh, guys, we won't be able to fit his car through here. Oh my gosh, we're screwed, man. Guys, this is a really nice car. I'm not gonna lie, man. Oh my goodness. There's tires in here, spare parts. This guy is literally taking apart carts. It's like it becomes a car shop. He said, how am I getting my car out? I, I, I don't, we don't have much time either. Okay, guys, let's just investigate. Wait, you know, are these, these are boxes. Oh my God, and I have the custom roll so I can place them. Hold on. Okay, guys, we're gonna start moving boxes out of here one by one. Let's do this. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Okay, take this box, place it. Take this box place it. Oh my god, Mo just said new hire? He said, where are you? Oh my gosh, guys, we don't have much time. Take, there he is! Oh my god, one more box, move! Go, go, go! Oh my god, I think we're good. Sit, 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 let me sit. Go, go, go! Oh my god, we broke out! Go, go, come on, come on! Dude, oh, so close! Oh, we did it! We did it! Oh my god! Oh, we did it, guys. We've officially escaped that restaurant. There he is, there's Mo in the distance. Guys, Andy just said, I'm fired! Wait, and he works at the gym? Oh, uh, I gotta go. All right, everybody. We are here on Ricky Likes Food. And now this is the guy who owns the hotel that apparently he is watching people at this place. And the best part is, is the boy is in Bloxburg right now. So we're gonna go join up on Ricky and we are gonna go actually undercover to this hotel. I don't want anyone to know who I am. I just wanna simply be in Bloxburg and go to the hotel and see if he's watching people. All right, guys, we are officially undercover. Okay, I am on my account called Reviewer Jack and I ironically enough i am a reviewer for this hotel so guys i noticed immediately i spawned in and there is halloween stuff everywhere and honestly guys i hope everyone's ready for a good halloween go you know trick-or-treating good stuff first name's literally bad but across the street you wouldn't believe it guys this is it okay this is the guy that we are here for he owns ricky's motel aka this is where the one star review happened where that tweet came in and they said that they were being watched okay so guys without further ado we are undercover we're just gonna go right in their name is literally ricky likes food 122 and if all goes well we're gonna be reporting this home at the end oh, no 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 but we're gonna go in right now guys and we are going to just see whoa guys so the first thing i'm noticing is no cameras okay which is ironic enough because i'm literally filming <laughs> right now so it's kind of perfect uh and he's literally talking to this one person named jade and he just said so you can go i'm, I'm in the chat saying something about 100 dollars for one night so i think like I i'm assuming she got a room and he just said actually room two which guys this is just so interesting there's literally multiple signs that say no cameras no cameras i'm just gonna like you know wait my turn until i'm up in line actually you know maybe maybe i'll take a seat oh wait i don't have gas <laughs> awkward i can't be sitting and he just said hurry i have more cost customers lady oh my gosh okay guys we are officially here talking to the man himself the guy who runs the one star motel i'm just gonna say right now hey nice to meet you i am here for a night stay and he just said are you a reviewer oh, guys honestly I, I i'm gonna just say it's actually my day off i'm gonna say it's my it's my day off 
I'm here to just relax, not review. Because guys, if if he if I told him I was reviewing, he'd freak the heck out. He said, oh. Okay, uh, lady, learn to park. You should give me a good review, though. Awkward. We're kind of here to expose a bad review. So funny enough, we're going to really see how this goes. I'm just going to say, oh, yeah, we will see. So I would love a room for one he said how long do you want the room for and i'm just gonna say so i'd love a room for one night just to feel things out you know and see if he's watching people guys okay because ironically enough it says no cameras everywhere but one of the reviews said that he's watching people so that's really weird stuff guys i don't know he said cool yeah you can have room one it's a nice room no guys this is the thing i kind of want to check out every other room first but let's just go check out the rooms anyways he said, it's a nice room i made it myself it okay, sounds good all right let me pay this guy right now guys we're gonna send him 100 beans to at ricky likes food and bingo it has been sent so there is my night stay and he said if you want you could actually choose one or three all right guys so he said go into room one or three so without further ado let's go into room one guys this is it okay this is where i'm most likely gonna be saying guys what the heck is this what the heck is what 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 uh, uh oh and to make things worse guys it's literally raining he just said hope you enjoy the room i'm gonna let him know um can i can i get a uh a different room because guys there's literally a wall right there that opens i've played this game for a long time i know what that is and he just said no have to stay in room one guys it would be ironic if lightning struck right now because he's crazy he said the other rooms are all booked now i know one of them was booked but okay guys you know what i'm just gonna tough it out oh, okay well guys it's official i am in room one it is 2 40 p.m and i am here for the entire day okay for the entire night he said do whatever and guys i have to get to the bottom of this i have to expose this because if i tell him that i found this weird creepy window in my room he's gonna kick me out like the last person so i need to gather evidence and first evidence right now is to take a photo so we're gonna take a print screen photo right now guys gather evidence we got a screenshot now i'm gonna say that if i want to actually get the blocksburg police involved in this we're gonna need to get at least five different screenshots so let's see if we can hopefully do that but i'm in my room guys it's really rainy oh my gosh what a nightmare of a day this is literally horrifying bro i'm in a creepy hotel and it's raining like how can the vibes get any worse and the reason i can't expose this place is because we need to get into that room right there the room he is currently in right now guys it is his room it's employees only and there's two ways either we break in or we apply for a job which i am not gonna work here bro but we are gonna again just sit back i'm gonna relax on the bed right now and just what the heck is that guys no as another one pops up as i'm sleeping it literally says open above my my bed okay no 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 so we have full confirmation that we are being watched here full confirmation these aren't air vents oh if he comes up oh it's ac no they, these, this is not ac i should almost question and see if he would give me a reason of what it is but i'm like low-key way too scared i wonder what that jade person is thinking wait why is ricky wait why is ricky is ricky in the what the yo i literally just saw ricky next to jade's name and now now he's gone yo 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 yo. okay okay guys this is bad vibes but hopefully we sleep soon and uh get to the next morning guys as i go into the bathroom what do i find another literally another okay and you thought that was bad right no there's two in the bathroom to make matters even worse so let's go ahead and count and see how many there are in here so we have one two we have three right there okay we have four don't tell me there's one in the closet bro i would freak the heck out oh my god there is you're out of your mind there's five in here one two three four five right am i missing one i feel like i'm missing one bro no no i honestly probably am dude that is so creepy to think there's probably more well this is an absolute nightmare. Now that I've counted up all of them, let's get some more photos. Okay, so I'm gonna message Jade right now, and I'm just gonna say, hey, Jade, how are you enjoying your stay? Okay, she responded. She said, oh, good, how about you? I'm just gonna bring up simply. I'm just gonna say, so, uh, have you seen anything in your room that's off? Okay, I'm just, just curious. I'm just curious to see if she has the same thing I do, okay? like 400 things and she said oh no why are you asking me and i'm just gonna say uh you know i'm just gonna say uh specifically on your walls okay i'm just gonna you know tell her uh look look around on your walls and see if you see anything weird or unusual okay guys she responded she said oh those the owner told me those were 
the ac like air conditioning no no guys okay yes they do look like vents but no 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 that ain't no ac that's that's ic okay that's icu okay she's there he's watching okay i'm just gonna say oh I'm, I'm not gonna try to scare her and be like oh yeah no they're actually they're she's watching you i'm just gonna say oh okay uh well in that case have a uh good night i don't want to scare her guys like i don't want to i can't start any crazy stuff okay well the good thing is that the sun is down guys and i am gonna start hitting the hay okay time is flying and so we're gonna see how the night goes okay i'm gonna give it a one star because i have to turn off all the individual lights dang it what the heck is that all right good night we go so i decided to get up from my computer and to see if i went afk what would happen and guys watching the footage back is genuinely shocking look at this guy on the dot every hour he was coming to visit me so in the morning it's time to expose him all right guys i disappeared for a little bit but i left my recorder on Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. This is egg. Okay. You guys literally just saw that again, bro. That was me. I had no idea. Dude, the guy must have known that I was literally not moving at all, bro. He watched me. He came in like, like an hourly bird. He's like, I gotta go check up on it. It's like those clocks that like shoot the bird. I don't, I, I'm, I'm tweaking. But bottom line is this is nuts, guys. Okay. Now that I'm standing up, I don't think he's going to come through anymore because he sees my name moving around, etc. Wait, someone's at the hotel right now. He just said hello in chat. He's awake right now. All right, guys. Well, it's 3 a.m. Let's just sleep until the night is over. Jeez. You know, someone else is going to get a room. Would you like a room? Yes, please. Guys, we have got to stop this, man. Well, guys, it is morning, but it is raining, okay? As you guys can see, it's 7 in the morning, okay? Literally 7 in the morning, bro. We're heading downstairs, and Jade is talking. I think she is about to check out as well. And oh, guys, the rain's over. Yay. Actually, look at beautiful sun. Oh, it just means, it just goes to show that I'm officially out of here, bro. And Ricky just said, how was your stay? And Jade just said, um... Actually, I don't think my room had AC vents, and I heard some noises. She's literally exposing the business for me. I said, you might want to check them out. Oh my gosh, guys. She must have been watched us last night too, bro. This is a nightmare, man. And Ricky just said in the chat, Jade, you don't know anything about AC vents. Oh my gosh. I said, leave the AC vents to professionals. Jeez. Out of pocket, Rick. And Jade just said, what? Okay. Now, if you want to file a complaint, you can in our complaint office oh my gosh guys i haven't even noticed that bro i think i'm gonna have to go in there as well bro all right guys jade is literally saying i guess i'll go do that then and she is gonna go head into the complaint office leave a complaint all right and in she goes okay wait don't you wait what don't you go in the complaint office with her wait wait jade just said well hey wait where did you just put her wait and, and now he's saying hello sir uh i have to pretend i, did, I just saw nothing oh uh, he's how may help you Crap, guys, I was about to expose this guy. But at this point, I would like to stay another night. We need more evidence. And something tells me that we may need to help this girl out. Yeah, definitely need to help this girl out. She just said, I'm stuck, help! Uh-oh, and Ricky just said, it seems we're booked for tomorrow already. I'm just gonna say, uh, please, sir. Uh, I'll send 500. I, I love this hotel. I said, send 1,000. Fine. Okay, guys, I am gonna send this guy 1,000. I literally have 2,000 dollars left, bro. I'm giving this guy my last pennies. He said, okay, the room is yours. That was so easy. He literally said it was booked. He's such a capper. Ricky just said, room two is available now. It's yours. And guys, I still haven't seen Jade come out. Something tells me that she's actually genuinely inside that room still. Said, hey, someone help me. Hey. Oh, son of a bird, guys. Okay, he said, go to room two. Too. All right, so the moment of truth. Jade was saying that she saw some AC vents in here. So we're going to see if this room is any different. And oh, wow, this room is actually kind of a cooler layout. Okay, guys, and wait a minute. Oh my gosh. This one's in the wide open. One, two, three. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Four. Oh my gosh, guys, this is actually a nightmare. It's a tunnel system, but I can't get through. So honestly, I have to find my way from the other side. I have to get through the opposite end to get into this tunnel system. So you know what, guys? The only way in, I think, is through the complaint center, guys. So I'm going to go down right now. I'm just going to say, excuse me, sir. I think I'm being watched in my room. I see weird things. He just said, bro, those are AC vents. Don't say that, dude. They are not. Stop capping. There is no airflow in Bloxburg. Sir, I would like to file a complaint. Guys, all I want to do is just get in this employee's room because it's literally covered in blinds. Like, what is in there? Dang it. He said, really? Yes, I'd like to file a complaint. Yes. All right, guys. Moment of truth right now. I'm going to file a complaint. I don't even know where the... She said, don't. She said, literally, don't. Oh my gosh, guys. No, 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 
No, no, guys, look at this room we're in. She just said, idiot. Hey, what the heck? I'm trying to save you. So now we're both stuck down here. Honestly, guys, I, I really don't know. I don't know why this room is giving me such like a weird vibe. It's like almost like the walls are like not like real. Wait, wait, Jade. Wait, wait, I got a, I got a private messenger. Guys, I feel like we just found something right here. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me message Jade. Jade, have you searched this whole square? Guys, it's literally like an optical illusion. From this angle, you can't even tell. Yeah, dude, it's a box and that's it. Yeah. Is it really a box? I literally could squeeze through this thing. I bet he's fallen down here before. He needs his own way out. He's gonna say, yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Guys, she literally... And now she's going through it first. Oh my gosh, bro. She, I literally show her the way. Okay, come on. Let's just go. Okay, we're just gonna sneak through here. Okay, we have to go through here. I can't even get in the full perspective. I, I, I can't glitch. Uh, oh my gosh. It's okay. We're officially in here. And this. What the... What? What the... Who the heck is that? Who the heck is that? That's me! That's me, reviewer Jack! He must have taken that recently! Oh my gosh, there's a kid on here named Jimmy who's just brushing his teeth! And then there's another person right here in the red room. And then this photo isn't even loaded yet. God forbid what's on it. And Jade just said, how many people have been down here before? I'm just gonna say, I don't know. But guys, let me get some photos right now. We have officially just gotten so much evidence creepy i'm just gonna say for real that's so messed up it's gonna say we can report this guy easily guys if you see ricky on roblox get someone up here right now no 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 audrey she just said thank you she's literally going in the room too no 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 we have to expose her and, and and change this whole thing up we gotta find a way out of here we gotta find a way out of here now wait what the mother is that is that wait a minute wait a minute wait can we get rid of these boxes wait a minute how do we wait we can just grab one i think Wait, yeah, we can just grab a box and go up in this vent. Oh my gosh. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Before I remove, I have to put the box back. Ugh. Okay, guys, I put the box back, which literally covers the floor. There was only one way in here. And now we are officially in his room. Guys, to get the evidence perfectly, I'm going to show the floor with the screenshot showing we're in Ricky's room right now. And guys, the door is literally locked. But guess what? We can open up all the blinds. Oh my gosh. Let's open and turn up the lights in here. Like, oh my gosh. Hey, Ricky. It's us. We know your secret. I'm going to message that Audrey girl right now. I'm just going to say, get out of there he's watching you he has windows everywhere all right now i'm just gonna say right now i'm just gonna say open the door or i expose you with a screenshot yeah how does that sound ricky just said you were supposed to give me a good review bro guys let's go upstairs we gotta warn audrey all right guys let's go come on audrey let's go we have to get out of here now let's expose the crap out of this guy oh my gosh i wish i could change the decal right now but i have such a good photo he just said you saw nothing we saw everything let's do it guys report your house type your name to recur confirm right now Guys, she left. Wait, can I still can I still report it? Reviewer Jack. I got it. I reported it. Let's go, guys. We have officially gotten that house reported. If you guys ever see any weird stuff like that in Blocksburg, make sure to expose them. I am back at my house, and today's video is gonna be a little bit different because I am on a beautiful public server with a lot of random people, but the reason is worth it. So I got this DM from somebody yesterday named Blocksburg Restaurant Reviewers, and they literally sent me a DM poke. I'm a restaurant reviewer in Bloxburg. You should check out some of my reviews. If you go to his page, you will literally see two restaurants that were reviewed that he reviewed. So in the messages, I let him know, give me the account names. I'm going to go review their restaurants myself because guys read this. Ready? My first restaurant review was not a good one. I visited Kitchen Gourmet and let me just say it was so that puke emoji. The restaurant is so small and not very nice. The service was bad too. One out of five stars. Guys, this doesn't look like a one star restaurant. This looks kind of dope. So I decided to take matters into my own hands and I, Poke, will be going to review this restaurant. So it's not over here, but I've joined up on their profile and their name goes by, yeah, Rico. This is them right there. And we are going to go check out this restaurant myself. This guy looks good. I mean, like Kitchen Gourmet, like it's it's not bad. So let's just see where this restaurant could be. Okay, home, home, secret bunker. Wait, what the? Literally, secret bunker. And over here, I think, is it. Yeah, this is it. This is Kitchen Gourmet. It's owned by Rico. So guys, without further ado, let's get inside this restaurant and let's check it out. I'm genuinely curious. Oh, God, guys. Uh-oh. He is missing a few teeth. Wait, the heck? He said, hey there. Uh, I'm just gonna say hi. How are you doing? He said, come on in. Okay, cool, guys. Awesome. And we already have a guy in here named Joe. He said, can I have a burger? And 
That is a hole in his roof. There's a hole in his roof that I can see through. <laughs> guys, there's literally a hole in his roof I can see through. He said, take a seat. Let me fix you something. Okay, guys, I am going to sit down and... Whoa, this area is actually so cool. Girls' bathroom, boys' bathroom, VIP. This is the kitchen. I mean, it's not the highest quality, but it looks decent. You as well, sir. Oh, thank you. Yes, I need gas, sir. Thank you. I mean, guys, I'll be honest. The service isn't that bad here. It's been pretty lit. So I'm just going to sit down and I'm just going to say uh, thank you. So what can I get for you? I'm just going to say right now, can I have a water to start? So we're just going to test out with drink okay we're gonna see how fast it takes for him to get the drink to me so sure thing i'm gonna go back there we're chilling and guys yeah i'm looking at the menu burger five bucks steak five bucks chicken five bucks which may be some of the best prices i've seen oh and that water came quicker than i could literally finish my clip that's crazy so here you go thank you so much sir so are you ready to order i'm just gonna say i'll need a minute but uh i do have a uh, question how often do you have people coming in here to visit so we're just gonna kind of talk to him while i sip my good old water oh those are napkins while i drink my entire glass of water because i am very thirsty i said well not as many as i'd like oh crap guys what if i even told he probably doesn't even know about the review dude if i told him there was a one-star review that'd be such an l i'd feel so bad he just said people come in and see the broken roof and they just leave without trying the food guys i mean i did see the broken roof yes i i do admit it but that didn't stop me from not trying the food i'm just gonna let him know dang i'm super sorry uh to hear that and we could said oh i have another customer one moment and guys as i am gonna just finish my glass of water let me put that glass down right there i'm gonna go to the boys bathroom and we are gonna check it out this is a part of the review okay it's got to be sanitary in here and Oh, it is. Oh, the, oh, it's very nice in here. It's actually very, very nice in here. Okay, let me use the toilet for a second. It's a little toilet test, you know. Um, I will say it is kind of weird that there are windows uh, right here. That's definitely odd, but it's definitely nothing like too crazy. And guys, I think he just is getting his food for him right now. Dang, guys, he came back with a pristine looking burger. That might be one of the best burgers I've ever seen on Bloxburg. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm just going to let him know right now. I'm just going to say, excuse me. It's time for my order. I am all ready to go. And guys, this is where we're going to test him, okay? Because they said that the service was bad, okay? And not very nice, okay? Which obviously guys we've seen the outside of the restaurant but we have to test him and see if he's actually a nice guy in general can i get a special request i really don't want my burger with lettuce and guys he just said sure here kitchen gourmet we love making special orders yay okay cool guys so rico is gonna get started on my burger and i'm honestly going to go look inside this vip area for a second okay now it seems like this is kind of just for like group events and other stuff so it's pretty cool so far if i want to rate the restaurant i'm not leaning towards a one star i can't believe he'd give it a one star i'm thinking i'm gonna probably be giving this place like a like a 3.5 like it's not bad it's wait guys i'm just noticing something really really weird right now there are literally already burgers done and ready and they almost look identical to the one that joe had over there what is going on in this restaurant okay i'm gonna just pop a squat guys why did he leave through the front door this is not making any this is not making any sense guys it's been a second i'm not gonna lie i don't know where my burger is i saw him run back in and joe is literally saying no 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 where's the bathroom uh it's that way bro it's right there dude oh god and rico just came out with my food Something tells me I may not want to... Wait, what the heck? There's literally lettuce on this. Uh, okay. He didn't listen to my special request. That's fine, I guess, a little bit. And it, it tastes okay. It kind of tastes like it was from like a drive through Wait a minute. Are these the new burgers from the Bloxy Burgers? Let me ask him right now. I excuse me, sir. Um, I just have one question. Just, I'm just gonna ask him this very simple question right now. Is this from a drive through Guys, I swear I've seen this burger before on a photo. He said, uh, what? What is your cooking level? Guys, what is his cooking level here? Because let me tell you guys, these burgers look way different than those burgers right here. Guys, he needs to be a higher cooking level, I think, to make burgers. He He's just going to get burgers from restaurants. Oh my God. And Joe in the chat just said, my stomach. Mine too. What? What the? He just blocked me. Wait, what? 
No. Oh my gosh, guys. What a restaurant, dude. Let me get in my car. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I just ate that burger and exposed him like that. What? One more amazing restaurant in the blocks for restaurant reviews. Now, the reason I waited for this one to do it last is because this one didn't get five stars, four stars, three stars, two stars, one star. It got a zero star, which means it is literally so bottom of the barrel that they gave it not even one star. Guys, I'm giving that restaurant, by the way, a two star rating, okay? The food I could have got at McDonald's. And second off, it was a little dirty in there. And I, I, I did for overlook the whole roof thing. But now we have the next restaurant. It's called Ombre. You do not want to eat here. The staff is very rude and they got mad when I didn't tip. But the food took forever and wasn't good. Zero out of five star. Let's go check out Ombre. All right, everybody, we are here on a brand new server and we are going to find the place called Ombre. Okay. And wait, what the heck? Whoa, Billy, take over. That's a really nice house, too. So we're going to just go through these amazing, beautiful plots and find the restaurant of Ombre. I don't even know what Ombre even means. And Ombre is owned by none other than Marilyn. So we're going to go check out the good old restaurant of Ombre. Got a zero star rating. Literally said they got mad when I didn't tip. That's going to be one of the experiments that we are going to throw in here. Okay. And oh, this looks like it. It's this is it. Ombre. Whoa, this place looks lit. Ombre fine cuisine. I like this place a lot. Whoa. Okay. And Marilyn just said, welcome to Ombre. All right. And that's this person in front of me is already getting a nice table. This zero star. This got a zero star. You are kidding me. This is so fire, dude. Yo, I love this. Marilyn just said, I'll be with you in a second. Okay. Uh, it's my turn. It's my turn. All right. I'm just going to go up right now. I'm just going to say, hey, uh, my name. Actually, my, 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 uh, I'm just going to say table for one. What am I saying? My, my name. I don't have to introduce myself. I'm just going to say table for one. She said, welcome to ombre i don't know why like i love that name i like this vibe i'm in right now bro i feel like i'm in like france like getting a nice cuisine pastry baguette but okay all right i'm gonna sit right here sounds good oh i'm like pretty much steering across that tay right now it's awkward and guys maybe i should bring up the review to this girl i didn't bring up the review last time which i should have brought the review up to the guy last time because if you didn't see in the last two minutes bro kicked me the heck out for no reason at all. I literally was just like calling out that the burgers were fake, dude. Okay, she, she went in the kitchen. Okay, cool. All right, and oh, oh she comes with some water. Okay, she's, uh, she's quick with the water. Guys, wait a minute. Oh, I'm gonna look in there for a second. Why did I... Wait, am I... There... You know, maybe it's floral design, but why is there so... I feel like there's a lot of leaves back there. Um, I'm just gonna bring up right now. I'm just gonna say, excuse me. Um, is there a floral pattern going on in your kitchen guys i swear i saw some like weird leaves and stuff in there we're gonna have to get a good zoom in on there and also her face is like super odd i don't know if i'm like i don't know man maybe there's might be a deeper meaning for the zero star guys and she just said uh yes we at ombre love aesthetic here but it's all fake of course oh okay cool 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 um and guys i still have to review the bathrooms obviously so i'm gonna go take a bathroom break okay um so while i'm just gonna go do that i'm actually gonna also yeah, she's just talked to that lady. Okay, and I'm gonna look right here. <laughs> um, this is like that SpongeBob episode. It's like I, I don't know which one to go into. Am I more of like a cloud or a leaf guy? Uh, let me try this one. This one seems like it's the good case. And she said, excuse me, that is for girls only. I'm sorry I couldn't tell. This is like the fanciest restaurant I've ever been in. Okay, my bad. Okay, guys, and Wait a minute. As I'm about to go in the boys' bathroom, guys, I'm gonna have to get a zoom in right there. Why are there boarded up walls connecting to her kitchen? That was so weird. Okay, I'm just gonna go review the bathroom. The bathroom is very nice, very aesthetically pleasing. This whole place has got good aesthetic, but I ain't not gonna lie to y'all. Wait, I gotta wash my hands. I am not gonna lie to y'all, okay? That window is weird. So I'm going to actually pretend to go do a little stroll around the restaurant. Okay, guys, I'm just going to go around the kitchen just for a second before I place my order. I'm just going to scope out the place because as you guys saw right there, yeah, look it. There's literally a boarded up window. What the crap could be in that? And if I go around, guys, I... <laughs> What the heck? Mushrooms on the... Oh, crap. She saw me. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna pretend that I did not see any of that. I'm just gonna go back in my seat. I was just getting a full-on vibe of the place. That's honestly all I was doing, guys. I said, excuse me, sir. I'm ready to order. I'm just gonna start sidetracking. I said, did you see anything? Only a big tip to add to my order. Oh, I'm just, you know, guys, talk with tips. They're gonna forget all about it. She literally just said, okay, what would you like to order? Guys, no lie. I am just gonna go simple here, okay? I'm just gonna say, can I get a Caesar salad with a side of apple? 
applesauce. I don't, I just want to test them out. Remember, we have to get a good request in. We have to see. She said, it will be right out, sir. All right, we better see about that, guys. And while she is making my food, I am actually going to look through this wall, okay? I'm just gonna see and look in there, and I, it's really hard. It's like all boarded up. Honestly, guys, I'm gonna have to distract her, and I think I'm gonna have to get this girl involved right here. So I'm gonna private message this girl, and I'm just gonna say, excuse me, would you so ever help me out? She said, oh, hey, uh, with what? And I just will say right now, I'll give you 50 bucks to run out around the front of the parking lot screaming ombre rules, okay? That will get that girl hyped up. She won't even get mad at that. Maybe, maybe she'll even get excited. But bottom line is, I'll be able to go in the kitchen and expose everything. I know it's a very weird request, but I promise it... Oh, she said deal. Huh. Blocks Burgers must not be paying much nowadays for a, a simple request like that. Okay, let me sit back down. She's got my salad. Okay, so here you go, sir. Here's your food. Okay, thank you. There's my salad with a side of applesauce. Wow. Thank you. Let me eat up this food real quick. Said anything else? And I'm just gonna message Tay. I'm just gonna say, now, Tay. Now. And I'm gonna message Marilyn, and I'm just gonna say, uh, nothing at the moment. I'm okay. I don't need any other food. And guys, there she goes. She's outside. She's screaming, Obrey rules! Obrey rules! Said, miss? Okay, guys, perfect. So now I'm gonna let her go outside and talk to her, and I'm gonna go in the kitchen and find out the truth. What the heck is going on in here? <laughs> It smells horrible, guys. It smells horrible. There's mushrooms and grass, and this is real stuff. The cutting board has dirt on it. She made my food on that. Oh my gosh, guys. This restaurant is down bad, but I don't even think that was the worst part. Ladies and gentlemen, there is another door here that connects to that weird part of the wall. What is in here? <gasps> I can't even breathe that in. I can't even play that in. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm just gonna get back out, guys. What the heck did I just see? Guys, the restaurant is great, but I think I'm about to give it a zero-star review for a completely different reason. But before we do that, guys, we are gonna expose this girl and we are gonna see if she gets mad if I don't tip her. Okay, I'm ready for the check. And Marilyn just said, okay, your meal was $55 without tip. So guys, this is the test. I'm not gonna tip her. And my bills were paid and I paid her $55, no tip. I'm just gonna say thank you. And I'm just gonna stand up and we're just gonna see. She said, that's it. What? She doesn't even know my financial situation. She doesn't even know. What if I could be like broke or something? I'm just gonna say, excuse me, excuse me, what? She said, just 55. I'm just gonna say, I'm sorry. I don't have money for a tip. Something tells me she is about to burst. She just said, this is ombre, not McDonald's. What are you doing? I'm just gonna say, I'm so sorry. I don't have enough money to tip. Oh my gosh. I I'm just gonna keep saying I don't have enough money to tip. And she just said, I saw that purple car you drove up with. Uh-oh, Tay just said, I feel funny. Uh-oh. You said, you're just lying so you don't give me a tip. Oh, I'm the one lying? She has no idea what I know. She said, yep. I'm just gonna say, then what is this? Gotcha! What is this crap? My cutting board that you cut the salad on is made of dirt. She said it's all aesthetic, duh. Oh, if that's all aesthetic, then what the heck is that? What is this? You don't throw out your garbage? What are you doing? It stinks in there. She said that's, um, no, I'm out. See, guys, this is what happens when you find out these restaurants. I knew it, bro. That zero-star review came from the heart. It was too good to be true to give them a second chance. She said, please rate five stars on Blockburg Yelp. No, 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 I'm not. My car got towed, guys. This gets me right from real. I'm just gonna say, maybe, uh, am I? I don't even know. But this is why we don't check out one star reviews all right guys we are approaching the daycare that got a one star review now i am very skeptical because you know i usually judge books by their covers i know it's like the opposite of what people say but dude look at this cover look at this home it's very colorful it's very nice we're just gonna pull up real quick and we're gonna investigate because in the review they said that they were uh not being the best influence to the kids so let's just pull up it says daycare for special kids all right we have walked up and let me Look at, oh, someone just came up right now. Someone said someone's here and they instantly came out. I, I couldn't even look in there. They said, hey there. I was gonna say, hi, uh, I'm looking for the daycare owner. I mean, guys, like height wise, this, yeah, I'm I'm an adult. It seems like he's a little bit smaller. So he's, I think he's a teen size. And he just said, you a special kid? Uh, no, I'm actually, uh, I'm, act I'm actually an adult right now. Um, and he said, or have a special kid. Uh, I, you know, I, I, Baby Poke is kind of special. I'm gonna be real, bro. He's one of a kind. So I, I do, but 
I'm he's busy right now. He's he's chilling. He's bu he's busy right now at that one of those like summer camp things. Oh, wait, it's like literally November. I should probably pick him up. Well, anyways, I'm just gonna let him know. So uh, what's going on here? Uh, you know, I'm just trying to get the vibe of this daycare. I mean, I can maybe, you know, kind of just go look in through real quick. Oh my gosh, bro is like literally like not letting me in. Jeez. And he said it's a daycare for special kids. Gives them a place to be with other special kids. I'm just gonna say right now, describe special. Like what 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 do you what do you mean by that, bro? very interested and troubled kids ah interesting so it's a, it's a daycare for special kids aka troubled kids okay i wonder what that entails um kind of just oh, again look I, I swear i'm like seeing some and he literally keeps blocking me every time i try to look he said they have hard lives and we bring them here to teach them lessons oh wow that's so that's so nice actually you know guys maybe we don't even have to check this what the crap? Wait, I just got a private message from somebody and they said, I want my mommy. Hey, wait, uh, uh, I'm just going to actually ask them right now. Do you by chance have a kid in there named, uh, Bobby guys? And he just said, Bobby is new here. It's only his first day. And bro, he, they said he's very troubled. He messaged me saying, I want my mommy. I'm just going to say, are you okay? And he just said, help. This isn't daycare. This ain't daycare. Then what the heck is it? Okay. Okay. I'm going to let him know. Well, I've seen what I need to see. I'm going to leave. Guys, uh, we have a very interesting situation on our hands. And I'm going to be real. I'm going to, from a distance, I'm going to look and why is it so gray in there? It's a daycare, man. It should be vibrant and colorful and. Oh man. Oh God. Oh God. Okay, guys. So we have gotten a little bit of knowledge from the one star review. We know that something is a little bit fishy in there, but that Bobby kid just confirmed it. I am going to go on a new account undercover as a kid and pull up to this daycare and we're gonna get inside and get the inside scoop all right guys we are officially on a new account and you guys would love my name i'm gonna put a dot right now in chat bad kid barry okay since it seems like this daycare is leaning towards being more for like bad kids i am going to already be ready to be a bad kid so he lets me right in now we have to go all the way over to the other side this is actually ridiculous so be there all right everyone we have officially pulled up bro Jeez, it has been a minute and we are about to knock on the door and we are gonna get in this daycare i don't even care oh there he is guys there's marcy oh my gosh and guys i haven't even realized but at this height marcy's got like these like weird red like eye things uh hold the phone all right i'm gonna just let him know right now hello i was dropped off here i mean you know i don't really know what happened my parents i think hate my guts you know mom dad grandpa grandma they all hate me so i'm here at the daycare for special kids and he said you were i didn't hear anything oh yeah they uh they dropped me off from the glider you said you a bad kid oh am i ever he says says in your name yeah bad kid barry am i ever i eat cereal with nails and screws i'm a bad kid all right and i probably have the worst teeth in the world so ew he said lol oh said, you get in trouble a lot all the time every day i'm always in trouble i'm literally the worst of the worst he said your parents brought you to the right place <gasps> oh here we go wait no way okay he said come on in okay let's do this guys we are about to officially enter the one star rated daycare. What the? What is this? Oh my God. We have literally like workout equipment. We have oh, is that a boxing ring. Free stuff. Quote unquote free stuff. That's not free, man. Oh, and he said, yo, everyone. Oh my God. He's going to introduce me. Oh my gosh, guys. And that's the kid that messaged me earlier. Bobby. He's all sad. He said, stop it. Because someone said you're such a goody two shoes. All right, I'm going to bring up. Hey, everyone. My name is Barry. Oh my gosh, dude. Or Bobby, bro. And then Lil just said, sup. They call me Little. What's up, Lil? Good to meet you. And then Bobby just said, hey. Hey, B B Bobby, are you are you okay? I'm just gonna see if he'd say anything out loud, man. This is actually crazy. And the fact that they're holding quote unquote free stuff, that ain't free, guys. It clearly means that it was stolen. He says, yeah, dot dot, I'm good. And then Marcy, the owner, just said, everyone shut up and listen. Hey, yo! What? He just told our, us kids to shut up. I mean, I'm not really a kid, but like, bro, you told these kids to shut up? That's wild. He said, Barry gonna be here. Yeah, Barry's here, guys. That's me. I'm here to stay and not, I'm not here to stay. We're here to investigate. But first, we got to put him through the test. What? Wait, what? 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 What test? Wait, what? Oh, Lord, guys. He said, Bobby and Barry in the ring now. 
Wait, what? Wait, what? And we have these, like, toy swords. Oh, my gosh, guys. And Bobby said, no, 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 no. And then Lil said, all right, Lil likes this part. Guys, I, I have to go with it. I'm just going to have to go with it. I'm just going to say, I'm going to message Bobby privately. I'm just going to say, come on, do it. We can get through this. Guys, I have no idea if he knows. Oh, my gosh. He said, Bobby, in the ring now, or I'm going to put you in the... I'm out pit. Wait, what the? Wait, what's the time? Wait, what's the time out pit? Oh, God. We are learning way too much right now. Here we go, guys. All right. I'm going to say I'm ready. Oh, my gosh. What kind of daycare is this? He said fight. Ah! Beat him up. Beat him up. Beat him up. Ah! And Bart said I got 10 on Barry. Hey, he's got money on me. That's crazy. Wait, guys. Why am I fighting this kid, bro? This is crazy. Oh, and Bobby's on the ground, guys. I beat him. Oh, but that was... I, I wasn't supposed to, guys. I, I feel bad. They're all calling him a loser. I'm just gonna say, Bobby, great work in there. You did fire. You did great, Bobby. Don't you worry. And then Marcy just said, hey, yo, like, like I like I just, like, say, I said a swear word or something. Hey, don't be nice to him. Bro. Marcy said, you need to teach him that life is gonna smack him around. Yeah, and maybe they're gonna put two kids into a boxing ring. Like, what? Why you be nice to the loser, bro? Like, dude, this is actually crazy, guys. They're being so mean to Bobby right now, bro. He said, Bobby, get up. You're making me mad for real. Dude, what is happening right now, bro? And guys, I'm just gonna go with the hunch that this is the pit. This is the 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 timeout pit. And he just said, you're going in the pit. Let's go. Wait, what? Oh, no. Bobby, he, he said, wait, no. Let me let him know right now. Hey, 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 I'm gonna get you out of this. Oh, my God. It's literally dark in there. It's literally pitch black. Wait, what? It's like a it's like a black hole in there. A bottomless void of nothingness. You can't even see anything in there. Bobby! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait, Lil said, wait, sniff sis. He said, uh-oh, poopsies. And Marcy said, you want to fight Barry next? Ew, I'm not fighting him with poop in his diaper, bro. That's disgusting. But, guys, it seems like over here we have some sort of office. We have another, like, we have, like, like two, we have two bathrooms right there. Okay, I'm just gonna bring up right now. Uh, 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 teacher, teacher Marcy, what is in the timeout pit? Like, what could be in there? Marcy said there's some hard lessons down there, which, guys, we obviously have to go down there. Bobby is the one that said he wants his mommy, so we have to obviously get him. I think his mom threw him in here, thought it was a normal daycare, didn't even come inside like a bad mom that she is, bro. Like, she literally didn't even look inside the building. Marcy said, why do you care? Uh, I, 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 I don't care. I, I, I don't care at all. I do care. I just have to, I'm just gonna kind of ask him. So where did you get all of this stuff? It's all quote unquote free. This should be a little bit of an exposing. Wait, and Lil just said, don't make trouble. Bro, I am not trying to make trouble. I am chilling here. Marcy said it was quote unquote free. Yeah, um, you're telling me that all this was free? This looks like it was taken from the museum, dude. All right, everyone. Marcy just said, hold on. I'll be right back. Gotta go talk to Bobby. Oh, wait a minute, guys. He's going through... Funny enough, he literally is going through his office to get there, which you could go through there as well, which is kind of showing us right now. And also, I could open this at any point. I, I don't want to, but at this point, I'm going to talk to Lil real quick. And I'm going to say, so Lil, how long have you been here? And I'm actually also curious, like, what did he do to even get in here, bro? It's kind of like testing out like a prison almost. He said Lil's been here a few weeks. He literally tells him talking to himself in third person too, which is absolutely hilarious. So what did you do to uh, get in here? He said Pff, Lil's the baddest. He stole a car. Bro, you aren't even like five feet tall. What are you talking about? You stole a car. That's that's absolutely wild, man. And then he said, and hit it a tree. Oh my God. Gosh, dude, bro literally was on a whole hit and run. That's actually crazy. He said, how did you get in here? Uh oh, here's time to lie real quick. I'm just gonna say, well, I, uh, I, uh, uh, I got mad at my mom and, oh God, guys, what do I say? I'm, I'm, I'm a good kid, man. I got mad at my mom and, uh, I drew on her wall. Yeah, I drew on her wall. Okay, yeah, got marker and don't do that, by the way, please. Jeez, dude, that's lame. That's why you're here. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't realize this was like a flex off to see who could be the biggest criminal. Like, come on, man. Sorry I can't keep up with your stealing a car story. He said, interesting. And then he just shrugged. Oh, and Marcy's back, guys. We officially have the daycare owner back in store. And he said, Bobby's starting to get it. Oh, no. Oh, God, what's happening to him? Oh, no. Oh, God, I'm scared. I was gonna say, what, what, do, you, what do you mean? He said, he's changing for real. Oh, my gosh, bro. Oh, man, this is actually kind of scary. He said he's going to be just like us. Oh, God. Okay, Marcy just said it's time for a daycare quiz. What? That was extremely random. Like, uh, why would he just want to start quiz? 
quiz. And if you see a bag of money all alone, what do you do? And Lil said, take it. Yeah, take it. Yeah, yeah, take it. Duh. I, I, I did not say that fast enough. I did not say that fast enough, man. Barry, you hesitated. No, guys, he knew. Cause I, okay, I'm gonna have to be on click of it, okay? Next responses are pure evil. I won't again. He said that was the easy one. I, I, I won't hesitate again. I, I promise. If you go up to someone's door and it's open, what do you do? Uh, close it. Like, literally, uh, instantly. Like, close that crap, bro. I'm not going into someone's house, bro. Like, I'm not. I'm sorry. Lil said, it's my house now. Bro! And the Marcy said, no. Guys, I, honestly, man, at this point, bro, I'm just gonna have to start answering nice because I need to get down in that pit, bro. He said, Barry, listen to Lil. Fine. He said, you can go in and take whatever you want. Yeah, but I don't want to rob the house, guys, because I'm a good person. You know what? I'm even going to say that right now. Why would I? Because it's not even my house. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, it's not even my house. Why would I rob it? Yeah, I'm pissing them off right now, guys. It's working perfectly. And I just want them to throw me down in that room already. He said, because they are dumb for leaving it open. I mean, they, they are dumb for leaving their door open. Yes, that, that is true. Yes. And you can take whatever you want. No, no, I wouldn't. Marcy said, you got some issues. Come on. I, said, I know what to do with you. Guys, here we go. We are officially going down into the bottomless pit right now. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, wasn't even that bottomless. Wait. Oh, my God. Wait, what the crap is... Yeah, we're in the timeout class. Wait, I'm out lessons and there's Bobby. Bobby, it's oh my god, Bobby. What the crap? Bobby, you don't you don't look so good, my guy. Like, like literally at all, Bobby. In timeout lessons, being good is bad. Being bad is good. Never feel bad. Fight, don't flight. And they deserve it. And he said, Hey, dipstick, you in here too now? Yeah, I am. Bro, be nice, dude. And Mars said, Welcome to timeout lessons. No, no, no. This can't be real, guys. This literally cannot be happening right now. Get me out of this class, bro. This owner is straight crazy. He's turning kids into evil. He said, Bobby, what have you learned? He's gonna say, Being good is bad. He's gonna have to go along with it, guys. We have have to get out of here one way or another man for real for real and bobby said good is bad bad is good and he said yada 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 and then marcy said exactly guys i think i lost bobby bro i think he's gonna be forever evil i'm gonna be real man like i i think we were a little bit too late bro he said barry did you fight or flight fight not flight do people deserve what they get yes guys I just have to answer as many of these questions as possible, bro. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm gonna keep it a buck, man. Like, but I have an idea. I have one idea. Honestly, I have one idea. And I need to message someone right now. I'm gonna message that other kid named Lil. And I'm gonna say, how much money to distract Marcy? Okay, guys, you know, bad kids will always be down for some quick cash, bro. Even if I'm being bad down here, bro. And he said, I want you to repeat these lessons a hundred times. And Lil said, 1K. Right, I'm gonna say done. Tell him to get back up there. He said, but Lil's pooping right now. Ew, dude. Okay, fine. Whenever you're ready, man. There we go, guys. Lil just put AO, Mr. Marcy. I'm gonna talk to him in chat. We're golden. There he goes, guys. BRB alert. Bobby, are you there? Poor guy's probably just all lost in that brain, thinking evil, being bad. What the crap? I'm literally like, I got stuck under his desk. Bro, I've been faking it the entire time, dude. It sucks down here. Okay, yeah, me too. Guys, you notice my energy? I've been drained pretending to be bad, bro. That thing is boring, bro. Being good is perfect. And dude, this guy is just such a noob, bro. He left his door literally wide open, bro. Like, honestly, man... Like, who am I dealing with, bro? This guy puts so much dedication into being evil, he forgets about simple lock mechanics. Like, oh my gosh, bro. Okay, guys, he's literally cleaning up a poop. He said, sorry for smell. Yeah, all right, and I'm gonna look over there. I'm gonna say, hey, Marcy. He said, how? You need to stop being so evil and start being a locksmith. Let's go! You idiot, let's go. We guys, we have saved Bobby from that weird special kids daycare bro we are never going back there again bro oh bobby dude the kid said hey obey me 